What can you say about Dolly, a flamboyant painter? Sometime writer? Sculptor? Maybe an experimental filmmaker? So do you think Salvador Dali was the greatest surrealist artist? Using his bizarre dream imagery to create unforgettable and unmistakable landscapes of his inner world. Let's spend a few minutes. And take a walk around Dali's world to see if it was fantasy of imagination or a nightmare. Go on. Take a walk on the wild side. Sunday Painter. Please click and subscribe, hit the like button and don't forget the little bell so you will be the first when we have an inspirational idea. Lions. And tigers. And melty clocks. Oh my. So what is Dali all about? Let me give you a short definition of surrealism. It's a style in which fantastical visual imagery from the subconscious mind is used with no intention of making the work logically comprehensible. Now that's out of the way. Let's look at some of his works to see what Dali had running around in his head. This is the persistence of memory in Spanish. La persistencia de la memoria. Painted in 1931 it's Dali's best known work. Here's the long version explanation so hold on to your hat. The image of the soft melting pocket watch epitomizes Dali's theory of softness and hardness, which was central to his thinking at the time. As Don Ades wrote, the soft watches are an unconscious symbol of the relativity of space and time, a surrealist meditation on the collapse of our notions of a fixed cosmic order. This interpretation suggests that Dali was incorporating an understanding of the world introduced by Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity. Einstein's theory of special relativity, E equals mc squared shows that energy and mass are interchangeable. Now that's deep. I wonder if Albert had melting clocks in his head too. It's like how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. We just may never know. From the late 1920s Dolly progressively introduced many bizarre or incongruous images into his work which invite symbolic interpretation. While some of these images suggest a straightforward sexual or Freudian interpretation in others such as locusts, rotting donkeys and sea urchins, are idiosyncratic and have been variously interpreted. Also, food and eating have a central place in Dali's thought and work. He associated food with beauty and sex and was obsessed with the image of the female praying mantis eating her mate after copulation. Yikes! You can lose your head thinking like that. Bread was a recurring image in Dali's art, from his early work The Basket of Bread from 1945. All of a sudden I'm kind of hungry but nothing like the female praying mantis, still yikes. Didn't know they did that. But unfortunately, I do now. Back to Dolly. The clocks, which he says are, nothing more than the soft, extravagant, solitary, paranoia critical camembert cheese of space and time. Hard or soft, what difference does it make? As long as they tell time accurately. There is a lot more information in paintings. But I'll make other Dolly videos as I go. So, if you was entertained and learned a little something, hit the like button and subscribe. I'll just leave you with a Dolly parting quote. I'm not strange. Just not normal. Thanks for watching.